Hello everyone, this is Joanna and today I have a small Ulta haul and a KB Shimmer haul. I think I ordered one of their bars of soap, but I want to share, I got this little bag and these are those nice little bags, um, like weekend bags, and they're not very sturdy, but they're the kind of bag that can probably last you a season or two or maybe three. This was gotten when I got a $39 perfume purchase from Ulta. The little bit of stuff that I got cost quite a lot of money. I think it was like almost a hundred. But then I got 20% um, off, and then I had $15 in points, and I think something else. Because um, even I had to balk at the amount of money that it was, considering what little I got. But this is just their dark brown bag. I think it also came in a black and a red. And I like these kind of bags for just a little weekend trip, or you're staying all night at a friend's house, or anything like that. Or just to put magazines in if you want something to read. Just any little all-purpose bag so what I actually got and I have to hurry up and share this with you all so my daughter can have her items wasn't much at all like I said I got let's see here I think huh so they took a series of discounts off the perfume. It ended up being a total of $26.85, even though it was originally $39. My Regenerous Serum was $13. The Benefit Cabral was $16, and we all know that's like $23. Um, an NYX eyeliner was $5.50, and a Vice lipstick was $11.70. And then the bag is a Weekender bag in chocolate. So after the discounts and everything, my total was $79.21. And again, I got four things. So anyway, I did go back and get the correct regenerating serum, but I did also keep the cream that I showed on here because I will use that in the wintertime under makeup. But this is the one that I prefer. When I first had this, it was like $17 a bottle. I got it from Target. And it kind of looks like a Vaseline type product. It is a serum. This comes in fragrance free and regular. And I believe I have the regular. This one I don't think has SPF in it. I don't see that. Because now that I know more about SPF, I've been looking for it. But it doesn't matter in this. Um, and as you can see, this is a little bottle. But I definitely saw a difference in my skin when I was using this. It was a little more smoother. A lot of my breakouts were clear. So I really do like this. And I hope to go get a couple more. Because I used this up before I knew it. And usually a product like this can last me a long, long time until it spoils. And I have to toss it out. So again, that's the Olay Regenerating Serum. My daughter picked up this little eyeliner, and I guess this was what was $5.50 with the discounts. Um, I thought that NYX eyeliners were a little less than that. I would have thought that this would have been $3.99, but it's not. And this is, I believe, in a soft, no, jet black. Jet black, um, noir de jaws. I can't see what that is. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just a black eyeliner. And I wanted to get some of the um, Urban Decay lipsticks. I wanted to get one, but I wanted to make sure that I did not get um, one of the ones that was on that little sample card that they sent me. And my daughter was kind of getting on my nerves. Like I said, even though she's 27, she basically acts 17 in a store. I'm supposed to buy her everything. Um, why don't you get this and why don't you get that? And I couldn't concentrate. What I was looking for, and I do want more of these, I just didn't want to pick up one of the colors that was in my sample because I haven't tried my sample yet. And I do plan on getting a couple that are in the sample once I try them to make sure that I like them because several of them were colors I'm interested in. I was basically looking for one of the lighter shades as an everyday shade for now. That didn't happen. But I did know that I wanted this white one and I haven't touched it yet and it's not white when you put it on it's like a glimmer of sparkle on the lips and you can put this over top of lipsticks I used to like to dot a little center of this at the time when my matte lipsticks were matte but they weren't called matte I just called them dry lipstick but I used to like to put a little dollop of this in the center I used to also like to do that with red lip liner and gold lip gloss and then I grew out of that but I really did want this color and this one was the one called Bobby Dazzle. They only had one. Um, I do plan to go back and get some of their lip liners as well. I do plan to try out the lip 
sample that they sent me in the fall because I'm really curious about a lot of those brown shades in there um, especially that one frosty popular brown one I just want to make sure that I like it I got the Benefit Cabral I thought that I would have wanted six but I ended up going with brown um, I'm sorry I ended up going with number five which is a brown that you can see like the other one I couldn't tell and when I put it on my hand this is $23 and as you can see it's way smaller this is like a sample size if they took the Anastasia dip brow and gave you a sample so that's $18.50 I think and this is $23 <laughs> but I wanted to try it anyway I was watching some reviews some people did or didn't like this little brush I don't mind something like this at all really I did want to try it um, but I do still like the Urban Decay eyebrow pencil. So I'm definitely going to stick with that. I'm going to go back and probably get two more of those. I got to make sure I don't already have two. I don't know if I just have one or if I ever got a backup one. But I definitely want um, more of the Vice lipsticks. And then for my daughter, I got this. I did have her the Rollerball. And this is the first, I think, Ariana Grande perfume. This is the one that she wanted because I got her a rollerball when it came out. She loved it, used it right up because usually she wastes things too. But what happened was I had the rollerball for $20. This was $39. And I had passed by the rack that had those Weekender bags. And it said with any perfume purchase of $39 or more. So that's why I got this for her. And I haven't sprayed it. And she's probably going to have this little ball just as dirty as I don't know what. But luckily, it's not an atomizer ball like I thought it was. It was just a decoration on the bottle. And you can take it off. So I think she could clip that to something else. I would take it off for fear that I would accidentally spray the perfume. I haven't sprayed this since I got it for her. She hasn't tried it on yet. All we did was take the overwrap off and I plan to give it to her and let her have it. I'm going to put it in there. Um in her stuff now because she kind of doesn't like the idea that when I get her something I like to try to um, go ahead and do a haul video first it's just something that I've kind of gotten used to and she figures you know I just need to give her her stuff which I don't blame her um, but that was all that I got there and then here is my KB Shimmer purchase make sure I put her stuff back as a matter of fact I'm going to get her the bag Okay, so this right here is, I know that I ordered the nail polish sage, it ain't so. I'm going to try this lipstick on and hope this isn't embarrassing. Let me see. I'm just going to swipe a little bit on and see, but I know it's kind of sheer. I don't know. I think that makes my lips look ashy in this phone light, so I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop right there. Um, But... I got, what did I get, what did I get? I think I wanted to try one of their soaps. I think I ordered a total of three things, but I know for a fact that I ordered the Sage It Ain't So Nail Polish. I wanted to order a few more, but I've been really hot and heavy on the pay after deliveries because that's how a lot of my stuff has been popping up. And what I did one day, not one day, but I had almost $200 worth of pay after deliveries one time because I kept doing that and they all piled up. They all got paid. And I forgot that they were giving away these little bat wings with an order. So I don't know if I'll use these. I might pull some out of here, but for the most part, these might be in a future giveaway. So anyone who likes anything like this, but they're just little bat wings. Glitter nail art. So I forgot all about that. But I was curious about their soap. And this is how it came packaged. And like I said, I do want more of these nail polishes. Oh, look, I ordered two nail polishes. But only one of them is from the same line as the Sage It Ain't So. I do want to get a few more of those, that brown glittery one. I just wanted to be careful. And this is pretty. It's glittery like my other one. But my other polish, let me see, this one right here that I had put on that time and I told y'all in order for it to look on my nails like it did in the bottle, I had to put my kaleidoscope on top of it. So I'll see if this is the same thing. I'll see if I have to do the same thing with this. I might even stamp over this. I don't know. 
I don't know. Um, so I'm going to put that there. And this, again, is the Sage It Ain't So. And then the other one that I ordered, I think, was from a collection either earlier this year. Um, it's the one called Foil. It's not from a new collection, but I thought it was such a pretty gold polish that I had to get it. And I really do like my designer D better, but the little mini bottle of it was even prettier. So I might try this with some black stamping. I don't know yet. I don't even know. If anyone out there knows if you can stamp over this, let me know. Because it looks awfully smooth, the pictures that I've seen. So those were the two polishes that I got. And then the last thing that I got off the KB Shimmer site. And I've never tried any of their soap. I didn't even know they made it. I started off with a raspberry bar. Then I decided on this Georgia Peach Bar, Southern Belle. And I'm not really smelling too much peach right now. But it smells like a homemade soap. I smell some peach. I'll have to wait till I use it. But isn't this pretty? I'm definitely going to have to get a couple more of these. And it's a nice size bar. It's almost like a size of regular soap. So I definitely want to try some more of these. I think there may have been a vanilla, but I'm not certain. Don't quote me on that. But that's all that I got. This was my small little haul, and my daughter can have her stuff now. And they sent me some kind of a ticket, so I don't know. It says this is your lucky ticket for each order placed from 8-19-16, which was the date of this new line, to 9-18. You will receive one ticket for a chance to win. So I could win a nail care gift set in mugs. Nail care gift set in mugs or a KB Shimmer gift certificate. That wouldn't be bad. So I don't know if I'll be placing another order or not. But that would be nice. And I think, I didn't realize it before, but these were the colors of the new line. And I didn't pay any attention to the card they sent me before. I know that I would like to um, try the best mom ever. Um, Orchid Kidding Me, Little Boy Hugh, Poppy Kisses, and Grin and Jabera It. Um, and maybe this nude one, I don't know yet, but there's a lot of colors. But that was it. I just wanted to share that because it was a very small amount of items. Um, and I wanted to make sure to give my daughter her stuff. Any information you have on anything, I welcome that. Um, and I don't know what I'll do with these just yet. Halloween is coming up, so I'd better decide. I wouldn't mind taking some of these out um, if I have a giveaway around that time and sending them. So until the next time, everyone have a great day.